YouTube, this is Weston Combs once again, and this is my review of the Transformers Generations Earthrise War for Cybertron Trilogy Deluxe Class Wheeljack. So here's his box, and he's got the piece of the map there in the back. Um, here's nice artwork of the toy on the side. Um, they're inspired by the toy. Pretty cool. On the back, you guys, vehicle mode, robot mode, and then like the Battle Master compared. Um, compatibility on this side you just have this artwork again pretty cool so that's the box here is wheeljack in his vehicle mode and this is a really nice figure so let me scroll down a little or roll the camera down a little bit so we can take a look and this thing is great um paint wise he has all kinds of decos all over this thing. Um, the only paint I don't really care for are the hubcaps here. They're kind of an orangey, uh, orangey red. It's definitely showing up in the in the camera here. How orange they look. Uh, the green is a bit muted. Uh, it could have been a lot brighter, I think. And then this red almost looks like it's muted as well, a little bit. Um, he's not quite as bright and, you know, as wheel jacks have been in the past. Uh, for a comparison, I'm going to go ahead and grab uh, Here's the Generations wheel jack in vehicle mode. Um, I'm not going to transform this for this video. Um, some of this paint I did add, like this green paint across here, um, down here. Um, as for like this green here, this is like the original green for the toy. This is the original red. Then you can compare it to like these muted colors on this one. So. It's cool. It just, it's not the brightest or the most vibrant colors which I would imagine Wheeljack having uh, so looking into some of this stuff he has arrow bolt here and then underneath it is actually uh, I believe that says Cybertron um, or no that's not the Cy that's not what says Cybertron this one says Cybertron in Japanese oh it's the same okay it's the same it's the same uh, symbols so uh yeah so that's the cybertron arrowbolt cybertron basically um you know his autobot logo here right there it says swerve uh ricochet ricochet uh modulator wheeljack invencione praxis instead of straxis uh the arrowbolt is covering or basically the uh Alitalia. But yeah, he just has like a whole bunch of, you know, different things on here. Um, and here it says Cybertron Con. And then on the black stripe it says... Oh, I can't read it on that side. Velocitron Racing 1984. In just really, really fine letters. You can barely see it on the camera there. W Motors, Icon Modulator, Rally X, Cybertron Con. Let's see if I can get it to focus really nicely. Rally X, Lucky. Just such tiny details. And then the 638, um, I think due to, uh, due to licensing, they couldn't use the, uh, original number or whatever that he had in the original toy and stuff like that. Because it was an actual car. So, 
covering this, you can actually take the spoiler parts off uh, if you wanted to. And they can kind of, I guess, stick under here if you wanted to do like a ski mode for him. I don't know. Or like, there's a lot of uh, replacements on Shapeways that I've seen. Um, just 3D replacement parts. I think these, you know, are good enough wings for, you know, my display. So, he does come with one accessory. He comes with this uh, weapon, shoulder cannon thing, rocket launcher. And you can store this on any of the 5mm ports. So, like... You can store it there on top if you wanted. I like to store it on this one back here. I wish you could store it underneath, like in this cavity here. That would have been nice. Um, but yeah. I like to just store it back here. It rolls uh, not too well. Like this front wheel here doesn't seem to be making contact. Neither of the front wheels seem to be making contact. That's weird. It almost seems like these ports here are actually lower than the wheels. So, yeah, those front wheels don't seem to make contact on mine, at least. Mileage may vary, I guess. So, uh, he's pretty simple to transform. He's not at all difficult. I believe the package it says he transforms in 18 steps whereas like oh yeah ironwork says he transforms in 10 steps um so you know i think some of them i think let's see hoist transforms in 20 steps so you know he's fairly uh normal for the deluxe scale uh transformation Stepwise, so to transform them basically, uh, I like to just pull out these first, get that out of the way, get his arms pulled all the way out. Actually, that frees this up. You can rotate that around and pull his head out. You want to make sure it snaps past this point here. Bring the windshield out. The whole windshield doesn't come out. Oh, what the heck? Oh, it's just on a clip. Okay. I did not notice that before. This is just on like a friction clip here. So this can come off easily. I guess that, that helps because you don't want to break this. Otherwise, you're pretty much screwed. Anyway, you want to bring this up and tab that into his chest. Nice. And that will lock this top portion we swiveled earlier in place. So the part that swivels for transformation is now locked in place. Um, it's like, let me show you. So this is on a separate swivel. So, you know, he can swivel here or he can swivel up here. Because this is a swivel in there, and then it, I'm guessing, has a mushroom peg that goes down into this, which is pretty much glued together around the hips. So, that's how that works. Anyway, close that up. Then you want to pull out the legs, pull them apart. You want to take this and carefully and pull that out like that. Now this part's just, you know, frictioned on, so it's just on this clip. Uh, anyway, so pull that out, flip this down. So you want to make sure it's flipped down all the way as far as it'll go. And that will slide right into this cavity here. Same on the other side, pull this out, flip this down, fold it in. And then just kind of separate let's see how is it it's clipped here 
sort of friction clip and then it's double hinged here and here bring that down like that and then you do want to undo the ankle rock it is clipped in pretty tightly up inside there so you'll make sure you undo that so that's freed up so you know just fold this forward and just to free it up and that's his legs done his arms you want to just swivel them here and swivel them at the wrist bring them down so swivel, oh, swivel the wrist swivel the bicep so everything's oriented properly and bring it down just taller than the camera angle or the camera frame so bring that up and then you want to just rotate these in that five millimeter point and there is wheeljack transformed and he looks pretty nice bring him down focus on him so there's wheeljack and he looks like wheeljack he looks very nice uh his legs are a bit wide uh, just because they can't transform it like the masterpiece at this, you know, price point. It's understandable. Uh, he has ports on the back of his legs instead of on the sides of his legs. Uh, it definitely makes sense uh, since, you know, all these details on the side here would have been uh, compromised. He has ports here in these points uh, in the double hinged points underneath his feet. Uh, he has ports on his arms here, here. Pretty much all the ports that every other deluxe figure would have one here. And then, of course, these two, if you removed, say, this one here, and you could put something, you know, there in its place. So, that's always an option. Comes with this accessory again. Uh has a five millimeter port here and then it has this tab here which only fits here it, i thought at first that it was the same as the tab that's on sideswipe it is not uh, this is thicker and then thinner this way the sideswipe tab is wider there and then thinner here so this will just plug into either shoulder uh, this is the shoulder that he would typically have it plugged into so there is wheel jack with his shoulder launcher. I'll go ahead and compare him to some other deluxes from this wave. Here he is with Hoist, who is taller. Uh, compare him from a, or compare him with a Siege Deluxe. Here he is with Mirage. And then here he is with his other wave mates. Here is Cliff Jumper, and here is Ironworks. I can pull Mirage out of the way here. And we can go ahead and put in, here's the leader, Astro Train, Voyager Starscream, Voyager, Hoist, or not Hoist, Grapple. And that's all of them from this wave so far that I have reviewed and looked at. I do not have the Optimus Prime yet, the Leader Optimus, but this is the wave so far. It's pretty cool. Um, if I had to choose just one out of all these figures to get, I think the best one would be Astro Train. Second best is definitely Cliff Jumper. Uh, these two you want as a pair. If you get hoist and grapple, you want to make sure you have both of them or get both of them. This guy is kind of the standalone. Uh, he's like, if you want him, uh, if you think he'd do anything for your collection, he's definitely worth the pickup. Starscream, um, pretty good. Uh, he's a very, very good figure. Uh, I do wish he had a waist swivel. Wheeljack was basically the last one in the wave I've actually picked up, so. He's also not really the best. 
but these are all good figures. Don't get me wrong. They're all good figures. Uh, but, you know, it's just... If I had to rank them, Astro Train would be top. Wheeljack would be on the bottom. So. Let's go ahead and pull all these guys out. And we will go ahead and go over his articulation. So articulation, he has a, oh, I gotta get that uh, proper. All right, so he has a rotation, a ball joint on the neck. Can kind of emote a little bit. Can't look up very much. He can look down a little bit. Probably enough to talk to Bumblebee. About getting those uh, energy rods. Um, <laughs> he has this hinge here and then a hinge here so you can actually get his arms out quite a bit rotation up that far you can go all the way around with it bicep rotation it doesn't go all the way around it gets hung up right here Single joint at the elbow. Wow, wrist swivel. Rotation at the waist. His hips are universal, so you can go out all the way like that. Forward that far, back that far for the full Monty. And the full Van Dam. Single knee bend, get you 90 degrees, and then the ankle rotation, as well as, you know, he can make that really far step right there with his, uh, those joints. So pretty good articulation for a wheeljack figure. He does suffer from the gorilla arms that pretty much every wheeljack since G1 has had. Uh, bar um, Energon, I think that had the best proportions out of any wheeljack in the upper body segment. The legs were trash on that figure, we'll be honest. Um, but yeah, this guy has the really long, really long arms. Uh, but, I mean, they seem proportionate, but his forearms are just a little bit too long. Width-wise, you know, they're pretty proportionate, though. So, yeah, definitely, if you really, you know, if you feel he's necessary for your collection, which Wheeljack is necessary for any collection, um, but there are other options. There is... The Generations one, which I thought was good enough, but after reviewing, you know, watching videos and stuff, this thing kind of falls apart compared to this. Um, if you want a really good, accurate representation of a Generations, uh, Generation 1 Wheeljack in this chug scale or Generations line, this is the one you want. He's not the best figure. He does have his flaws, but... This is a great figure, though. So, Earthrise line has so far been amazing. Um, there hasn't been one that I've regretted buying. There, at first, I was kind of on the fence about some of them. Uh, Wheeljack was one of them because I already had a version of Wheeljack that I thought was good enough. But comparing him. Uh, comparing that version of Wheeljack and this version of Wheeljack to the rest of the Siege line, as well as, you know, some of the other uh, G1-inspired figures uh, that are more Hyper G1 real or Hyper G1 accurate, like uh, Beachcomber or, um, you know, any of the Dinobots. 
This one definitely looks a lot better in comparison to the other generations wheel jack that we've gotten in the past. Uh, so definitely worth the money to me, uh, definitely worth the price. Does he belong in your collection? I'd say that's up to you. If you have the Generations one, which is pretty decent, um, and you don't feel like this needs to be in your collection, that's kind of, you know, it's your prerogative. So this has been my review of the Transformers Earthrise uh, Wheeljack. Thanks for watching, and until next time, till all are one.